Hi everyone, it's your boy Swiss is there one welcome back another live stream. How are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing very very well. Welcome back on board X-Plane Which is weird because you cannot really board a flight simulator. We're on board of course the Airbus Beluga though And look what is right there an Airbus A320 fuselage. Yes, we're Somewhere in the south of England actually I just thought you know why not fly in England here in the uh, in X-Plane flight simulator 2020 What? My X plane flight. What am I saying? I explain flight simulator because I do have Orbex scenery here installed for the whole south of England, also for the whole north of England, and I think that could be an interesting journey to take today. Let's just go ahead and remove this uh, weird um, plugin here that does the blurring because it's really annoying, honestly, and fly this Airbus Beluga. You know, I just really miss flying an X plane in general. We've been doing a lot of uh, Microsoft 2020. What the hell am I saying? Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 flying recently. So, you know, it's just great to be back in England where the windmills are <laughs> I literally, what, what the hell is that? What is the hell, what is the, hell is the speed? What, what is wrong with the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020? It's just, that's not, not, not how it normally looks, the windmills in real life. But that doesn't really matter. We're on board an Airbus Beluga here. We're at some weird Air Force Base and we're going to check out some interesting airports here. Making sure that we don't, you know, fly accidentally to an airport that has like a 50 meter long runway. What am I saying? Let's go and <clears throat> get this plane started. Actually, before we get this plane started, of course, we need to load up our A320 successfully. So let's just go ahead and um, concentrate on doing that. I got a bit of a new microphone set up. Um, nah. There we go. Uh, this is now another microphone. I'm using this. This is, I think, a dynamic microphone versus this. What I normally use, a condenser microphone. I explained this in yesterday's stream because I have the air conditioning running in the background. And this one picks the air conditioning up more. And my headphones have just run out of battery. No! Ah, now I can hear again. What the hell? I don't really get how, this, how to use this headset receiver thing. Ah, it's... it's why the hell does, does it keep turning on? For, I don't really get it. The battery is like charged up. So this doesn't make any sense at all. Do I have to put in the cable? Sorry, I <clears throat> I have to care about the tech first before we fly. I'm sorry. Normally, normally we are very successful here. It's normally successful and professional on this channel. So I've plugged in my headset now and I think it should work. So everybody, let's just calm, calmly and easily turn on this plane. Well, actually just get um, this A320 fuselage loaded in. We got this tablet here that we can use. Uh, go to the loader page and just press load. As you can see, the um, loader itself is already attached to the plane. Now we just gotta, uh, again, I just press the load button, which should um, make the plane go work. Is this, is this going to be working? This doesn't make any sense at all. I'm just trying to adjust the camera too, by the way. Welcome back to Professionally Streaming with Whistles Zero One. So, um, do I have to press the load button twice? Come on. Does it work? Or have I done something wrong? Because it won't. Well, it, has, it, it plays this sound, which I think is a good sign. Oh, I can hear this. I can hear something. Can we hear something? All right, perfect. Nice. Let's go ahead and now turn this plane on, actually. Uh, for that one, we're gonna have to turn on the three batteries. This is really straightforward. As a professional <clears throat> pilot, I can easily turn on a, a easy plane like this, right? Turn on a little bit of the fuel pumps here. Which don't work. Those have to actually turn on for the APU st to start up normally, but apparently not. So uh, time to... Oh no, this is the engine start switch. Let's go ahead and master switch. 
the APU. There we go. Turn on the fuel pump and uh, hope the APU starts. That'll get those actual instruments started up in a jiffy too. Here we go. We can hear the APU turn on in the background. Good, everybody. It is now time to get this door closed, get this loader removed, first of all. Remove loader since our A320 is actually inside of our Airbus Beluga already. This hasn't taken all that long, has it? This is uh, <clears throat> quite straightforward. So this thing is now um, getting removed from our airplane, right? And this is perfectly professional as always. All right, now. <clears throat> um, has the APU started up? That's some... Okay. Yes, it is. It has. So, is that all we've got to press? So this is... I've, I haven't flown, in general, an in, a, a realistic plane like this for a while now. I've only been flying around in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. If you know Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, it's not particularly the most realistic one. Okay, AP generator. There we go. All our instruments are now turning on. Let's go ahead and now uh, get this to ATT so that the navigation displays uh, align. Okay, that's important. And uh, that's perfect. So let's just get this door closed. And uh, we can soon get this plane started up. Yeah, this is, I mean, this isn't a cockpit from the 80s. You can definitely tell how this plane has aged by just the, the backup instruments, for example. There are a few instruments. Actually, this, this the altimeter here, the altitude measuring the <clears throat> instrument, whatever, is, um, that's actually in, uh, it's still, it's still a, an analog instrument, right? It's not even a screen. Um, so that's interesting. I mean, this, this is an old cockpit. So let's just, uh, try to do this carefully. Let's go ahead and close all the doors so that we can get ready for this engine startup that's going to be coming up pretty soon. So I said this, by the way, to everyone, I'm, I'm a noob, right? Do we have to uh, turn on the ATT knob? I think ATT knob is the right switch, right? I think so. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Great. No, my headset is turned off again. What the hell is wrong with this damn headset? Why won't it work? That's like, I, I, I genuinely don't know. Just turn on properly. This is the, a bit weird. Okay, come on. Uh-huh. Now I've turned it on properly. For some reason, I've set it to uh, turn off every five minutes. It doesn't really make sense at all. Good. I'm a noob. Yeah, I'm sorry. So uh, I think now we just have to go here and initialize this aircraft. I hope that uh, we can uh, we can do it. We Reference. So, position monitor. Select GPS. No. That's not right. Initialize. Uh, no, reference. This is an interesting. So, we have to go to, I think, AIDS normally, but that doesn't work. So, A cars? No. Return. Uh, GPS. Doesn't work. I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> Inoperative. This is not at all working, is it? I'm, I'm failing again to get this plane started up, which is something that just always happens for some reason. I don't know why. What should I, what should I, what should I do? Let me know, please. Initialize. Do we have to enter, like, the airport? EGDR? Okay, let's do that. This is the thing about, you know, trying to, come on. Get, you know, with, get along with these weird, uh, in-flight systems, especially these old-school ones, there can be a little bit confusion. So, let's go ahead and enter the code, I'm guessing. Uh, EGGR. And EGDR and EG. We're in South England, by the way, if you haven't gotten the memo. No! No, I, 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 I entered it wrong. Okay, that's good. E-G-D-O. Wow. None. Her <laughs> turn. Great, a light. Oh, there we go. Oh, this was. This is loud. Oh, this is way too loud. Oh, man. Rest in peace. What's up, Callum Bunch? Welcome back. How's it going? I hope you are doing very well. Um, now, why doesn't this work? Please. Position monitor. Uh, align IRS. I've set this to align. Donation low. No, wait. Voice low, donation loud. What? That noise destroyed my ears. Oh, I didn't. That didn't. That I didn't mean to have that happen. Let me just uh, uh -huh. turn down the donation sound by like a little bit. That hasn't worked properly, has it? And I'm trying to turn on a, 
a plane that I cannot turn down properly because the instruments won't start. How do I get this going? Please. Hmm. I want to... I want to fly, honestly. That's all we need. Okay, so let's set this here to nav, I think. Right, nav. And that should be getting the plane up in a jiffy. Right? Yes, it's gotten the plane up in the jiffy. Perfect. Everybody, we've got... This is like probably the, 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 the set that I'm always most confused with with all the planes pretty much because I just don't get it. So let's go and turn, turn on the fuel pumps here. Turn on the... Uh, that's perfect. Now we all only need the APU bleed, which is right here. Bleed. And this is all we need to get those two engines started up of this Airbus Beluga. Airbus plane. What am I saying? Airbus Beluga plane. Let's go ahead and now uh, try this. Where is the engine start? There we go. Engine start. Start. Engine number one. Get the fuel. We've got N2 coming up. And one should be coming up in a, in a jiffy too. And one is coming up. Our engine is officially starting. We are now officially starting indeed. What am I saying? Um, yeah, this is a perfect uh, beginning to a flight on board this Airbus Beluga, which carries around an A320 through the south of England, everybody. We have got an achievement already, okay? This is a perfect stream so far. So, <clears throat> perfect. Engine number one is started up. Let's go ahead and start up the second engine two. Here we go. Start two. Get the fuel booster here and do the, the, the fuel pump. Oh, Jesus. Okay, good. Now, generator, turn that on, on. Perfect. Get the trim going. Get the yaw damper going. Get the ATS going. Get everything going. Turn everything on that needs to be turned on or, or that says off. Literally, this is the thing about starting up an Airbus. The, especially the most modern Airbuses like the A320s are so easy to use since you just have to press all the switches that say off and that's all you need to do pretty much. You can just, you know, fly away then. It's perfect. That's just, you know, that's just, that just makes sense. Good. Um, now all these lights are good. Uh, this is perfect. Uh, um, turn that off. Uh, we don't need the APU anymore. Perfect, everybody. We have started up our Airbus Beluga plane. And why is this plane louder on the inside than on the outside? Great. This is just perfectly realistic here, the sound design. All right. Now, let me just turn off the APU. I've already tried turning off the APU. I think it's it should be turned off. I've turned off the APU. It's going to... Okay. Ah, oh, great. Now, we can really just taxi this plane along. So, let's go ahead and unset the parking brake. And get moving. Okay, we can see rudder is already working. Let's just taxi onto this runway here. This is a, actually a relatively okay long runway. I think this should be fine. Let's just see if this is gonna work <clears throat> at all. So, all right, perfect. Yeah, this is all that's gonna happen on the day stream. But, you know. The thing is, in X-Plane 11, I feel like the planes just fly a lot more realistically. They fly a lot better. I've been having a lot more, I've been a lot better controls of the plane here in X-Plane. So it's just nice to, to be back. Oh, we finally have a donation that doesn't ear rape our eardrums. How about that? Tree to one donated two euros. Is tree to one? It's a sabaka baka wee wee yow. Yes, hi. Thank you so much for this very, very, it's just, Intellectual, okay? That's a very intellectual um, donation. Thank you so much, Tweety One. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and taxi onto this runway. That's probably way too short for uh, this Airbus. A yeah, it's probably genuinely too short. Oh, guys. Is that a KC-10? What is that doing that? Damn KC-10. KC nice that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Take off. Full power. Let's just hope that we don't overstress the engines or anything. I mean, this is somehow working, though. This is perfect. Let's go ahead and take off. Donated seventy-five What's up, people in? It still doesn't Testing read your damn the donation voice. Why doesn't it read your name? I don't get it. Like all the others read it. And by the way, we are on board, by the way, if you haven't noticed, on board the gangsta um Airbus Beluga, the literal IKO code of the plane here is Gista. Well it's not code, but it's um registration. Gista. 
It's literally the gangster. And we've taken off an Airbus Beluga, which has an A320 inside of it. Yes, we can actually, while mid-flight, we can actually take a bit of a look into uh, the cargo hold by just climbing up. The thing is, up here, the space in the real plane and here in the flight simulator too, it isn't pressurized. So you would die if you get up, if you got up here um, uh, in mid-flight, like at high altitudes. But here we can take a look. I mean, I think we can turn on the lights. What does this do? What is this? Where are the lights? I think there's a light switch for those lights to turn on. And it looks much better. There, there we go. Aha! Everybody, this is our A320. And um, the thing is, the plane is actually flying without us being at... Ah, there we go. Actually, this is perfect. And you know, this is genuinely... Doesn't, doesn't this look like literally flying? If you guys have played Forza Horizon 4, which plays in the UK, this literally looks like Forza. Okay, like you're flying through above Forza, the, the Forza Horizon map. How about that? Oh. The knots donated five years and 49 How's it cents. going? I do not Welcome. know what to write. That's, uh, I mean, that's perfectly fine. That was a very interesting donation anyway. Welcome to the channel. All right, everybody. Uh, I've got nice controls at this point. I just like how this plane flies, honestly. It's just quick, but it's not... Stupid, like the 757 or something. That's like stupidly quick. What am I saying? Uh, the thing is, though, this is a typical Airbus plane, as in the auto throttle keeps turning on for some reason. Uh oh. No. 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 I've done nothing. I've just turned off the auto. No. 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 Please, survive. I'm begging. No. No, we just took off. This was a perfectly f look looking flight. We were we were coming in for the for the for the very much westernmost point of of the UK, which has an interesting airbase here too, like right here where the face cam actually is, is hiding it. But it's right here. No way. Is this gonna crash? What is gonna happen now? No, the sound is gone. We have no sound. No! Spinning wheel, spinning wheel. Uh, what the? F mm. Mm. Can you see my disappointment? Can you see the disappointment in my eyes? Look at this. I think you can see the difference disappointment. Look. Oh, wow. This is that really broken this side. Oh, no. I, that was perfect. I turned on this Airbus Beluga plane. And we died. But this is a perfect opportunity to take a bit of a look into YouTube. Let's uh, see. Let's do some reaction. I mean, I can make, I can become a reaction channel too. Hard landing. How about that? Uh, yeah. Let's read some landings, everybody. While well, X-Plane is loading for like 12 hours, that's just another perfect thing to do. Okay, let's do this. No. Oh God, that's intro. What the hell? What, what what are those YouTube videos? Okay, let's watch this. Come on, it's a Reiner landing, so we already know what to expect. Come on, Reiner. Oh, this is world famous, though. This is great. Welcome to reactions. Was this... Wait, was this a bounce? Wait, let's just analyze this. This is one landing, and then a bounce. Genuinely. <laughs> Damn! The bounce was almost even worse than the first touchdown. Okay, let's watch this. This is actually not Reiner, I think. This is not Reiner. I've not seen this clip before. Ah, it's Turkish Air Airways. Oh, it's already looking... Damn. I mean, that was not all that bad. I could... I have seen worse. I have seen worse, I think. Okay. All right, everybody. Guess who it is again? Reiner striking back. Ah, this is way more fun than the X-Plane. Oh, damn. Is that Tree to win? How much you want from me for package? 
I mean, you have. I think you have already do uh, donated thirty dollars, right? So send me your Instagram account, and I'll send you a package. Let's see, Reiner. This is Reiner, by the way. This is the best ever, actually. This is better. This is better than every, every other stream I had. Okay, come on. What is this airline, actually? What is this one? This is not actually a big plane, isn't it? This is. I mean, it says Reiner here, but the thing is, it, it already we already had Turkish Airways, and this is definitely not a 737. Oh, this is Ryanair, actually, isn't it? Well, thank you. Oh my god. That sounded very bad. Oh, wow. Rest in peace. And what do we got here? We've got Reiner again. You cannot see it because the face cam is out, but there's actual Reiner, too. Okay. At least most of these landings here are actually Reiner. So that's good. Okay, come on. That landing wasn't all that bad. All right, let's just... Uh, <clears throat> oh, no. I, it hasn't even loaded in properly. Uh, okay, we've got a landing at night. Filmed from the left side of the aircraft. Great. I mean, okay. I Generally, I think... That whenever I flew Rhino, the landings have always been kind of like this. It's not even, you know, as bad as it gets, right? It gets a lot worse. And this is another airline that I don't understand. What airline is this again? I remember, I remember what, I, I remember that this is an airline, obviously, but I don't quite remember what airline this is. What is this again? Can you guys tell me in the chat? Really not sure, but let's watch this. Oh, damn, this looks like some very bad weather. Look at that turbulence. Look at that wing flex, even. This is a 737, I think, or an A3. No, the, I think this is a 737. Look at that wind flex. Oh my god. That's Norwegian. Okay. Norwegian never had... Se oh, they had 737s, right? They had. Yeah, they're a very, very cheap airline, too. Oh, wow. Just that sound. Some people are saying EasyJet, but this is definitely Norwegian. Yeah. What is this What is this airline now? Red? Okay, wait. Well, let me just get this flight going. Okay, what airline is this now? Just with a red engine. You guys need to help me out here. Not quite sure. Is this also Norwegian? Because they have a red design? I think I can hear some Scandinavian voices, too. Oh, come on. I like I like how they're laughing in one moment and, and then the... Ooh. Wait. Ooh. <laughs> That's Air Asia. Oh, Jet 2. Okay, isn't that Australian? Or something? Okay, so this is a really weird airline. This is probably in, in Greece, though. Somewhere Mediterranean. Oh. What is this Blue Stars? All these airlines I really don't recognize. What the hell is this one supposed to be? Can you guys tell me what... Is Jet 2? What is this? Okay, so first of all, this was Jet 2. I, I think this was Australian, too. Let me just hear the voices. Mm. Wait, isn't Jet 2 British? Jet 2 is British. I confused it with Jetstar. <laughs> I mean, they both have Jet in the name. Jetstar is Australian. I'm sorry. Ugh, good. So this is supposed to be some sort of African Airlines, you guys are thinking? Are you sure? Is this African? Is this African? Not quite sure. What's up, uh, Alessio Belli... Bila Belivacu Belivacua, thank you so much. Air Berlin, this is definitely not Air Berlin. Turn Tunisia. You guys are now always you guys are, are just giving very, very different answers always, so that's just not very helpful for me. Let's just go the thing has still not loaded up, so let's go ahead and um mm -hmm. Try some more hard landings. Where can we go? Tim Aviation, let's give him a chance. Okay, of course. Reiner is represented here as always. Okay, we've seen this landing before. It's boring. Okay. We've seen this landing before. Wait, is this the same video? It is not the same video. They just use the same videos. Great. Okay, this is Reiner. This is actually not that hard of a landing. What do you guys think? This is just a very, very, very crosswind landing here. Not a big, not that big of an issue. Look. That's okay. That's all right. That's Swiss Scissor 1 approved. Okay, let's... Oh. Let's watch this one. This is another clip that's used in the same other video. What the hell? And this is also used in the other video. Okay, this is... Okay. Wow, we've actually got, like, a Star Alliance Premium um, airline now. This is, of course, KLM. So, let's see um, how well this one is going to go. Ooh. 
That is an A330, I think. Like a big one. Big time plane. Oh, look. Oh, this is a very beautiful destination, though. Okay, this is an interesting clip, too. This is United Airlines, I think, judging by the reflections, right? I think this is United. Yeah, this is United Airlines, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. This is see this United Airlines thing. Ooh, <laughs> I think this is like a 767. I'm really bad at guessing planes from the window. And then we've got the the same Jetstar or Jet Two things. Uh. Another clip. Did these clips? These these videos have all the same clips. That's so boring. Okay, what what airline is this? Is this uh, Sun? What airline is this again? I really don't know. This is... Oh, damn. <laughs> what a bounce. <laughs> Great. And we've got another big airliner. I think this is now actually an A380, judging by the sharklet. Yeah, I think so. A380? Just a sound. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in pieces at this point. Oh, wow. Great. Now, that's definitely an A380, though, like a big one. Okay, another Reiner landing. Oh, man. We've seen this one before. We've seen this one before, too. And we've seen this one before from Turkish Airlines, too. Just always the same clips, huh? Oh, wow. But this is great. We have now... <clears throat> We're back on X-Plane again. Ah, time to do our own landings. Uh, yep, I'm gonna have to start up the plane again. Let me just put it this way. Uh, okay, how how quickly can we do this? Are we just gonna fly without any any Airbus model, or should we load it back in? Because it's gonna take like a thousand years now. I mean, we can I can try to actually start up the engines. Okay, let's do this quickly. Okay, ground operations. Get the all the doors opened. Perfect. Um, the ground services loader. Request loader. That's gonna come in a second. So I'm gonna turn on the plane while this thing is turning. You know, you know what I mean, right? Okay. So we gotta use safe. We gotta we gotta use our time that we have here. So yes, we've been streaming for like 40 minutes now, and we, I mean, we did we have we have received we did go flying, right, for a second, uh, a while ago, but uh, it it kind of failed because our flight simulator crashed. So it crashed. If you if you don't know, this is just great. Um, perfect. Now this is, everything is opening up and let's get this plane quickly started up. This is gonna go really simple, all right? Start. APU starting up nicely. Uh, let's just go ahead and get some of these fuel pumps on here. Good, APU starting up nicely. Let's go and turn on all the lights, by the way, too. Why not? Uh-huh, get everything ready here to get this plane quickly. I just really wanna get off the ground, okay? So don't worry, we're gonna do this uh, very easily and nicely. <clears throat> Gosh, that's is annoying. Uh. Now this is just what you get for uh, flying X-Plane Flight Simulator. It just always crashes. That's like the, what we get for, for it, right? Just nice. Thank you so much. That's Sun Express. Oh, Sun Express. Yeah, Sun Express was that other landing here, right? This one. Okay. Yep. I would guess too. This is Germany, I think. Ah, oh, well. All right. Now our APU started up nicely. Let's go ahead and align this plane quickly. We are at, uh, again, at EGDR. No, come on. Let me just enter the stuff here that I want to enter. EGDR quickly. Now to <clears throat> EG. You know, this is perfect. Save operation. E G D O, no. E G D O, perfect. Return, return. Good. Get this going. Get this going. Get this going. Perfect. Align I R S. Align I R S. Perfect. Nice. Now our APU is running fine. I just really want to get this thing loaded up. Come on, just, just speed. We need speed. Just move. Move your wheels. Move something. Move this thing. Why won't you move faster? We need to go. We need to go. We. I. <laughs> let's just let's just imagine this thing crashes again, right after the takeoff. What would we do then? Would we just like I don't know. 
and we'll just I don't know just end the stream okay that would be generally boring we need we, we would have to do something more interesting to be honest the the chances of the flight simulator crashing again is they're kind of likely right so I got to think of something that's like the point <laughs> all right great now it's time to uh, turn this to nav here perfect so get the IRS navigation systems perfectly aligned let's reference this okay everybody instruments have started up i think we can already get our engine started i hope no one here is in the way so while we um yeah perfect start engine here all right we can see the inner compressor already spinning off our engine one yes this is a bit of a close call but we've really got to go people it's not my fault the flight simulator crashed let's just hope that there's no one standing on the ground and yeah this this is very stupid i'm gonna let's do this all right <clears throat> just get on with it perfect now our engine <laughs> we've already started up our first engine while this thing is still loading up very realistic i hope again there's no one here on the ground don't look so suspicious yeah i'm sorry all right let's get this going all right engine number one is already started up the apu is now out of service i mean not quite yet okay so let's go ahead and start with our second engine perfect n2 is coming up start up the n1 by the by doing the fuel pump thing and i think we are ready to load up our a320 this is just really what we're aiming for perfect i don't think this is just you know how this whole thing work this is not like procedure because we're starting up the engines while our all of our <laughs> doors are still open but i mean it works so like it's not my problem perfect let's go ahead and actually do this thing again where we turn on the lights because it looks a lot nicer come on turn the lights on no lights yes looks way better perfect we have started up our <laughs> I like I like how our warnings are just like main cargo door not closed service hatch door not closed I mean we can close everything except the cargo door already that I think makes a little bit of sense here um good exits close the rear door and the uh, service door close everything here with the exception of the cargo door because we kind of need that for this thing to load up come on just work this thing is way too slow for us. We, you need to go faster, thing. Plane. You need to go faster. We need more speed. Come on, plane. Is this even? Is this even moving? It's not even moving. I pressed load like a thousand hours ago. Load. Please. Ground service loader. Load. Uh, just <laughs> do this. I mean, it cannot be that hard. It doesn't even move. Okay. Let's turn on everything else that we need here. Just turn all the switches that say uh, on. Good. Turn the ignition off. Uh, this is good. This is fine. Let's make sure to have the auto throttle turned off, though. Kind of important. Let's turn on all the lights here in the cockpit, too. Since I really always want to turn on the lights, we've got some time to kill before this. Ah, I think there's the Airbus fuselage will be moving in a second because we hear the sound. Which normally always means uh, fuselage is going to be our, whatever loads soon. Just load already. Oh, that we. Oh, now it's fast. Of course, it's now it's fast. Great. All right. So, um, are we just gonna? I have an idea. So after this thing has loaded up, right? We can already push back from uh, this loader, right? We can make this fast. Let's go ahead and put the reverse thrust out, okay? So we can push back properly. Good, these general electric, electric engines here are now working hard. And there we go. The fuselage have, has left the loader and entered our plane. Let's go ahead and reverse and see if this is gonna work. And uh, well, by the way, remove the loader. Good, reverse thrust is at full power. Okay, everybody, we have uh, done this. Let's go and remove the loader officially, and um, turn off the part. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Great. Everybody, this is professional. Let's go ahead and now uh, taxi to the runway that'll get us to our next airport the quickest. Uh, I have an idea. All right. I have, a, I have a genuine idea. While we're taxiing, by the way, let's go ahead and... Uh, Actually, no, this is not a good idea. Wait, let me just steer onto this runway. And while we're on the runway, let's just close the cargo door. Perfect. So we're on the runway now. Oh, no, 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 no wheelie. But look, we got, we... This is no time for games. Good. So, we are now on this runway. We're going to be departing out of here, right? To the south, okay? And then we're going to be flying to this place, right? This is perfectly aligned already for our route. This is just smart navigation. All right, meanwhile, let's go ahead and uh, get this exit closed. Come on, close. Okay, I think this is closing. I think it is. This is just efficient operation. You gotta think of that. I think it's closing. Is it, is it even clothing? Clo clothing? Closing. I don't even think it's closing. <laughs> no, no wheelie. We have an Airbus A320 on board. Oh no. Oh, poor landing gear. What's up, Michael Gustav? Welcome back. Uh, from greetings back to P P Brooklyn. Come on. This whole door is not closing, is it? Come on. Is it gonna close? Please, I need this thing to close. All right. Turn on the parking brake so that we can get this going. Soon. Uh, I think we have to manu manually close it from... Aha, it is closing, isn't it? Yeah, okay, it is closing. So we can already take off, you know. Good. Now what does this plane, co plane compare complain about now? I wonder. Like nothing is wrong. The configuration is all set. We have a bit of airflow within the aircraft, but that's just, you know, what is kind of, it, it's, it can also be kind of necessary. Uh, 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 nice. Oh damn, that was the closest runway overrun that we've ever had on the streams, haven't, wasn't it? Look at that, What? Are they, well, that was very close to hitting something. Great, but we're already, already on our way very much for, um, this next airport that we've got very soon coming up. Uh, uh, I need to get proper headphones again. This is uh, not very ideal, but we've already got a runway here. This is actually a very, very short route. Great, but I like how this plane flies. I, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's just very nice, right? Uh, let's just see. Are we going to touch down before our door closes? That's like actually now the proper question. Ha! <laughs> All right, this is now a race against the door. Runway's here. Runway's down there. It's coming up. Let's land down there, too. I think this is going to be smooth. I have a feeling about this landing going to be super smooth, actually. Shh. Stop complaining. Why is it complaining, though? Is it because of the, <laughs> of the cargo door? I like from the outside, there's still this beep. It doesn't make any sense at all. And there's trees right in front of the runways, too. It's great. Flaps are down. Okay. Stop. Stop. Brakes, 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 fully brakes. And our door is actually closed now too. Everybody, this has been a smooth landing and we did stop too. Everybody, this has <laughs> gone quite well. Let's check this out in the replay too, because we have replay, that's good. I mean, look at the look at the trees, totally misplaced. <laughs> yeah, that's totally not what it is like in real life. We even struck some trees. I hope not. Yeah, I did la land a little bit late, but of course, again, because the trees blocking the runway, but uh, it still worked out. That's like the thing, you know, that's just what counts. There we go. That was actually quite nice and a good stop too. Nice. Swiss 001 approved. Yes, I can 
officially prove my own in landings. Let's just go ahead and actually use this um, side of the runway here. I have an idea. So we're going to depart from this side now towards the north. I think that's a smart idea. Okay, let's go ahead and do a 180 turn. I just like how, how maneuvery this plane is. It doesn't look all that agile, does it? I mean, yeah. look at this. It's an Airbus A3, A3, A300, basically. What am I saying? It's an Airbus Beluga. Come on. There we go. Take off. Go oh, power. Perfect. Now, take off. Do this nicely. I just like how much power this plane does actually have. We have an Airbus A320 fuselage inside right now. Is it still alive? It did survive all the airflow, apparently. That's good. And just look, look how this plane wants to take off already on its own at 100 knots. How? But like, that's, I'll just, I'll take that. Why not? That's good. And we have taken off for Airbus Beluga. And we've got some nice frames per second here in the flight simulator too. I'm pretty happy here. Nice. Okay. Everybody, it is now time to uh, fly towards the north. And actually, we, yeah, you can see on this map, we still have this White Knight 2 aircraft from the, um, from the Virgin Galactic video. And we've got windmills again that are super quick. Look at them. Just uh, the way windmills spin. We've got like some military operation field. What am I saying? Uh, all right. I just head towards the north. I mean, we can skip this part. No. I didn't do anything. I did not do anything at all, actually. I did not do anything. If this is going to crash again, I'm going to die. I did not do anything. I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. No. No. No, 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 no. 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 Don't do me like that, X-Plane. Please. We need you right now. No. Why? Why again? Why? Why do you gotta do me like this? For the second time on the stream. You are a disappointment of a, of a flight simulator. Oh. Okay. That's actually quite understandable. No. It's gone. It's gone. Our little... Little A320 fuselage is gone. Everybody... It's dead. It's, it's dead. It's broken. It's, it's left us, basically. So sad. Welcome back, Swiss and everyone. This has been just a classic stream. Thank you so much for watching and for all those people who have even donated on the stream. That's just always crazy to think about. It's just been a lot of fun flying around the Airbus Beluga again in uh, the Britain. And um wasn't quite of a successful flight. But we tried. That's the point. Now, see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.